A boating blitz. Take a look. Thousands of people hit the St. John's River today for boater skip day. Our Sky 4 helicopter spotted huge crowds at this sandbar off Green Cove Springs, but this brings safety concerns as well. And Clay County's biggest marine response to date. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci went out on the water with dozens of first responders who say they're trying to stop accidents before they happen. Right now we're with the Clay County Sheriff's Office Marine Unit. We've also got members of the U.S. Coast Guard here, but all in all, there's about a dozen agencies working to make sure that everyone is safe. They're not just on the water, they're on land and in the sky. Take a look at this. Hundreds of boats packing the Bayard Point sandbar in Green Cove Springs. Sky 4 showing the party from above. This is in Clay County, but the backup came from all across the area. It's a definite, uh, huge undertaking with a big group effort that makes it go much a lot, much smoother and a lot easier. Law enforcement building a command post on shore with fire rescue on standby. And a homeland security chopper up above. As we head into the dog days of summer, there are more boaters and more boating mishaps. Problems the Marine unit is trying to prevent. Basically what I'm doing is just make sure everybody's being safe. Uh, we're trying to keep the BUIs down, trying to keep the accidents down, uh, trying to keep the crowd controlled to, you know, make sure everybody's having fun, but just being safe is what we're, our main, major goal is. Alcohol abuse, one of the biggest issues they deal with. A lot of people get to drinking too much. They still think they're okay to drive a boat. You have to uh, south into the bike. But they're also making sure everyone's vessel is equipped, like life jackets, whistles, and fire extinguishers. We want everybody to have a safe and enjoyable time. We don't want to work any accidents. We don't want to put people in jail. What's going to make you happy at the end of the day? No accidents, no injuries. Everybody goes home with all the same fingers and toes they came with. And tonight, the big message from law enforcement is they're not just out here watching on the big holidays. They're keeping an eye out 24 seven to make sure everyone makes it back to shore safely. In Clay County, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. We checked with the sheriff's office. They say while the day isn't over so far, no one has been arrested and no one has been taken to the hospital. So they consider this a success.